Hey guys, it's Tech Infusion, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the most popular drones on the market, the Phantom 4 Pro Plus. DJI has found a way to pack more and more features into their quadcopters while incredibly improving the camera. Upon first glance, the Phantom 4 Pro looks identical to its predecessor. However, the upgrades and improvements DJI has packed into this new model make a world of difference. In fact, after using the Phantom 4 Pro, I couldn't ever go back to the previous model. Taking a look at the exterior of the P4 Pro, you'll start to see small black circles on the front, back, sides, and bottom of the drone. They are the drone's obstacle avoidance sensors. These sensors survey the area around the drone and will actually stop the quadcopter in its tracks if it's about to hit a tree, building, or even a person. DJI try to make the Phantom 4 Pro crash-proof, and with the aid of these sensors, it's pretty close. The Phantom 4 is actually the first consumer-grade quadcopter to ever include an obstacle avoidance system and obstacle tracking. The camera on the P4 Pro is incredible. It has an upgraded sensor size of 1 inch and is capable of shooting 4K video at 60 frames per second and capturing still photos at 20 megapixels. DJI revamped the camera with a mechanical shutter, which helps reduce distortion. They also added an aperture control, which allows for extremely customizable shots. The camera sits on one of the smoothest gimbals I've ever seen. I was able to fly in 20 mile per hour winds and my video was still perfectly stable. It's crazy how good the Phantom 4 Pro camera actually is, and with the small improvements DJI is making, it can only get better. When it comes to flight performance, I was not disappointed. The Phantom 4 Pro is super steady and is able to hold a hover without touching the controller. In normal mode, movements are super smooth, but switch over to sport mode and it's a whole different experience. Sharp turns are always fun. The Phantom 4 is so easy to fly, and that is thanks to its controller. The controller definitely has no lack of buttons. You can do pretty much anything you want with this thing. It's probably one of the most comfortable controllers I've ever held. DJI boasts a range of about four miles. I've never been able to hit that far of a range. However, I did have a lot of interference and it wasn't line of sight. Under normal conditions, I've been able to go a mile, which is still pretty far. Battery performance has not let me down, and 28 minutes actually feels a lot longer while flying. I thought for sure I would never have enough battery life, but I'm extremely impressed and have never run into any issues. If I had a nitpick and find something wrong with the Phantom 4 Pro, I'd have to say the only annoying thing is is waiting for the batteries to recharge. They take about an hour and a half, and not everybody has that amount of time to wait for a battery to recharge. That's why I picked up a couple of extra batteries. Along with the drone, you get a carrying case that fits everything you need to fly. It's not the greatest case in the world, but it's better than nothing. If you're looking for a professional drone, I'd have to say the Phantom 4 Pro Plus is one of your best options for under $2,000. I'd even go as far as saying that this drone is one of the best purchases I've ever made. So anyways guys, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful in any ways, please remember to leave a like and don't forget to comment and subscribe. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and until next time guys, peace out.